Well, what's up all my Ewoks, Rules, Droids, and Wookiees? It's Anna, also known as Star Wars Girl. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the new Predator movie, Prey. Now, right off the bat, the movie is about like an hour and 20 minutes long total. Uh, the rest are like credits and whatnot because it shows up that the movie is an hour and 40 minutes. But bear in mind, it's like dramatic music and lighting. Uh, now, I started off this movie and... I'm not going to lie, I was really bored. It starts very, very slow. The action doesn't even really pick up until the first 40 minutes. But, of course, it's important to have that slower part because you get to in get introduced to the characters, the world, uh, you know, the main character and how she's a Native American girl and she wants to hunt and, you know, she's got a good relationship with her older brother and he's a really talented hunter and she's a good tracker and how because she's a girl, they're like, no, like, you should be cooking and gathering and, like, healing and stuff like that but she wants to hunt and to prove herself and of course she has a dog which the second I saw that I was like if anything happens to this dog I'm gonna be pissed but so the first 40 minutes again it's slow but you kind of need it to establish things about the characters and when I was watching this I'm like I'm really bored I'm falling asleep I basically chugged my caffeine to stay up and I which doesn't make any sense because I, I woke up and then watched this movie, you know, so I shouldn't be tired, but because of how slow it was and it seems, I, I don't know what the budget was for this movie, but at first I was like, this is kind of low budget. They just have really nice cameras because the, the camera, like the, the cinematography is very beautiful, but I don't know. I was just like, what's going on here? And then once I saw the CG a little bit later, I was like, oh, okay. I, I see where they prioritized uh, aspects of their budget. But so, yeah, the movie takes a little while to get going. And of course, because no one in this movie expects like an alien predator to be there. So they're like, at first they got to fight a lion. And then you see the lion because they're like hiding in the tree because she, the main character, she's really good at like planning out like, tactics for hunting and you know ambushing and stuff like that so she is very intelligent which you know usually you need to be if you want to survive one of these movies and so they're like in a tree and they're hunting a mountain lion because they think a mountain lion has been doing all of this and of course the mountain lion attacks one of the guys that she's with and of course a predator gets involved in, in some way and then there's like a bear and she's hunting a bear because they see the predator's tracks and they think it's a bear standing on its hind lanes they're like oh yeah that's a big bear right and then she is you know by herself with her dog at some point because they get separated over the course of the movie and she's like running and like fighting against this bear in this like river and the predator shows up and the predator kills the bear so she sees the predator and she's like what the fuck because you know you know nobody expects a fucking alien to show up in the middle of nowhere and start killing bears right and so she sees it and she's got to you know tell all of them like yo guys we're fucking fucked, man. Uh, but so then she gets stuck in, I think it's like quicksand, but it's not quicksand. It's like a mud puddle thing and she's sinking. So maybe it is quicksand, but where she's at, I don't think there is quicksand, which it's neither here nor there. She gets cu caught in fucking quicksand mud and she has to use her brain to get out of the situation. This isn't like the predators coming, the dogs nowhere to be seen. She has to use her little uh, tomahawk thing and throw it and like, reel herself back in and the only reason I'm bringing this up now is because it's important at the end of the movie but so then she goes and she runs back into all of the guys uh that her brother is not with and they're like oh you know you need to come back like we we need to take you back to the village like you shouldn't be out here hunting this this is too dangerous for you and we get to see an actual fucking fist fight between her and one of the guys and I mean they're beating the shit out of each other like they have no qualms about having a man hit a woman which I was like yo props like this is an actual fucking fight good for them and then of course like a minute later the fucking predator shows up and kills everyone so yeah oh yeah by the way spoilers so yeah like they all the guys die and me i was thinking i was like this is a really small village there ain't gonna be any like men left <laughs> in this village because the predator's just hacking them all away so she watches as like the predator kills all of the guys that she's with with which are there's about three of them 
Oh, I felt good. And then she's trying to escape the predator because they had her like tied up so that way they could get her back to the village and whatnot. And she's like, free me, free me. But, you know, the predator wasn't going to kill her because she was tied up and then as she was escaping then the predator started chasing her and uh she runs into her brother in this field and then her and the brother have to you know try to fight off the predator and then she runs into some non-native american guys like it's this kind i i don't know if they're like ah. What would you say? Hunters or trappers? They're, they're not good guys, right? But they're not the predator, so they're not like the the antagonist, you know? So she runs into those guys. They put her in a cage. They put, I think they had her dog, too. And then I think they had her brother, too. See, this, my screen, because I was watching it on my computer, it was so dark, it got hard to see things at times. But there's one guy that can like speak her language. And so he's like talking to her that he knows many languages. And at one point her and her brother had like seen all of these Buffalo that were skinned. And so earlier in the movie, she saw a snake that was skinned. Uh, obviously, you know, the predators do things to, you know, their victims for their trophy stuff, but they saw this like whole field of Buffalo and this guy was like wearing it. She's like, you killed the Buffalo. And I'm like, Girl, who cares? You're getting chased by a fucking alien. Who the fuck cares about who killed the buffalo? Whether it was them or the fucking alien. They died. You know, you can't save the damn buffalo at this point. Like, who the fuck cares? You're, you're literally getting chased by an alien that can pick up a giant fucking grizzly bear with its bare fucking hands. Like, you got bigger problems to fry. Anyways... To make back to the point, so when she had been running right before she got like caught by the guys, she ran into a bear trap, which her dog's tail had gotten stuck in earlier in the movie, and the predator was kind of like face to face with her, like even though it was invisible. But that's the moment, remember how I said she's smart, that's the moment that she realizes, oh, the predator doesn't just kill anything or everything, right? It stopped, and there's a reason that it stopped, it's because right now when you know, I'm trapped like this. I'm not a threat to it in any way. So she had that realization that, you know, it's not, it's not going to kill her. So the trapper guys tie her and her brother up to like a tree and they're like waiting, like they're setting a trap for the predator, but she already knows that her and her brother aren't going to get killed by the predator in that moment because it's not going to go for the tied up prey. It's, it's going to go for the the other hunters right and so then there's this like really intense scene where the predator just fucks all of those guys up and is just hacking them to pieces and they show all the like this new tech that uh the predator has even though i guess old tech because this is like an older type of predator like the predator mask is like literally a skeleton and whatnot and so it's a pretty brutal freaking scene it's actually like i mean i thought it was cool but <laughs> i was like damn this predator is just going to town on and murdering all of these guys and so you get to watch that and then her and her brother escape and they got to like try to figure out how to kill the predator and the brother you know makes you know a statement about how like she's the she's always smart like he's like the only reason i was able to kill that lion was because of your plan like you're better at like planning all this out and you know he's like than me and they end up back or they get separated but they she ends up back where you know the trapper guys uh, little camp was she talks to the one guy that can speak her language and he's like missing his foot and he's like oh here use this thing now remember how i said i was falling asleep well i must have zoned out because i don't i think it's some kind of drug but it's like this necklace thing that she wears and somehow it makes her invisible to the predator's heat vision now i could go back and watch it but i really don't want to <laughs> A great review for this movie. I could go back and do my research and watch it, but I really don't want to. I don't want to fall asleep. I'm already like chugging caffeine and the slowness of the movie just didn't do it for me. I would highly recommend if you guys are going to watch this, watch this on like, I, I don't know, not your computer screen. Watch it unless, you know, you got a comfy chair like I do, but uh, watch it like in a home theater kind of thing. I think you'll have a better experience and just prepare for it to be slow and drink some Starbucks before. Maybe it's just a me problem. I don't know. I was wide awake before I started watching this movie and now I'm just so very, very sleepy. But and 
the movie's like it's it's good though it's it's good it's just very slow and i i don't know maybe it's just a i i think it is just a me thing but uh i was so tired i must have zoned off and i don't it's some kind of drug because she gives it to the guy because he's in pain because he got like his leg cut off and so and then the predator can't see him either because the predator's walking through the camp and it's not picking up any of the heat sensors and she's hiding behind a tree and the reason why her and her brother split up because he went to go get their horses and so she was doing like some investigating and so the guy shows her kind of how to load a gun because she's Native American she's never like loaded a gun she probably hasn't even seen a gun uh, and so she's hiding behind a tree the predator comes in and is like investigating their little campsite and the predator like steps on the guy and he screams and then the predator kills him which I was like ah that was like that guy was nice to her and he was teaching her and he was speaking her language so that sucks but you kind of expect everyone to die and then her dog shows up and I'm like oh my god do not kill the dog do not kill the fucking dog please do not kill the dog and right as the predator is about to kill the dog because he's using his little laser uh, pointer thingies her brother shows up on a horse and her and the brother start fucking up the predator and I mean her brother is like He's a badass in that scene. He's, like, fighting the fucking predator. He knocks off his mask and whatnot so she can, like... And she watches, like, how the masks works and whatnot, which will be important later. And uh, the brother, like, literally, like, impales the predator, like, through its, like, shoulder and, like, chest muscles. I don't know why it didn't die then, but uh, brother really fucked it up. And so they're fighting, and they're both taking on the predator. They're beating the shit out of it, and the predator turns invisible, and they're just like, oh, shit. And then the brother, I think, like, we all knew because it's like, well, she's the main character, so we all know what's about to happen. It's about to be a dramatic death scene with a character that we all like because her brother was, like, actually cool. And he's just like, you better at everything than I am. You can win this. And she's like, what? No. And then the predator turns on invisible and stabs him through the back. And uh, she's like, no, my brother. And I'm like, ah, that sucks. I liked that guy. And uh, <laughs> then the predator's going to try to kill her and the brother, like, you know, wounds its knee and whatnot. And so she's running from the fucking predator. And then, da da da, da dramatic, dramatic moment. The predator gets stuck in the quicksand thing as it's chasing her and she's fucking it up. And uh, she uses its mask and whatnot to, because uh, she, she knows it's going to shoot her and whatnot. But she, like, she's like, yeah, shoot me, bitch. Shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. While the predator's stuck in the quicksand mud. And then the predator does the, the shooty thingy and then it, Da, 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 and kills it and she kills the predator and then she takes its head back to her village and like i said all the fucking guys died so it's like a village of like one old man and a ton of women and i'm like she's like yeah we got to get out of here because uh this is dangerous we need to get to safer ground and i was like yeah no shit sherlock like if you're the one that's going to defend everyone everyone's fuck like it's one thing to be your own like survivalist but when you gotta defend an entire village of just like women and children probably not going to turn out so great and then like the movie ends but it's all dramatic and she's covered in like the predator blood the predator didn't blow up for some reason uh, maybe its stuff was too damaged by the mud <laughs> but um or maybe because this is an earlier predator maybe they hadn't uh thought about blowing themselves up after so uh, there's that but yeah that was the movie it wasn't bad it wasn't the best it it's okay you know it, it picks up later i would just suggest you know, just kind of powering through the first 40 minutes of it because you kind of have to. Um, I don't think anyone was a bad actor. I think all the acting was pretty good. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't definitely wasn't the worst I've seen. Um, there is a lot of emoting. And you do kind of get a sense of, like, attachment to the characters. Like I said, like, I, it's like, oh, her brother, you know, and, like, the dog. And she's a good actress and whatnot. And there there are some cheesy lines. I I think that when I got excited was when the brother said, if it bleeds, we can kill it, which, of course, is, like, a callback and whatnot. But so overall, I mean, it's not woke. It's a very simple plot. And I mean, it's okay if you, if you have the time, if you're not doing anything and you want to watch it, just maybe check it out. It's I get, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's not the best. It's definitely not the worst. So yeah, that's, that's my feelings and two cents on it. And that's my little, uh, summary review of it. So whatever.
Anyways, uh, if you hate my review, you guys can let me know in the comments. If you liked it, you can let me know in the comments as well. And guys, if you liked this video and my kind of like my, I guess my weird little, I'm very tired. I don't know what I, what's going on <laughs> review. Please smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye everyone. What's up everyone and thank you so much again for watching my channel and my content and if you would like to, to support me further because I am not sponsored in any way shape or form as much as I want Mio to get behind me and sponsor me because I love Mio I actually created something I created a cosplay calendar of some of your favorite video game characters and this is the second cosplay calendar I have done everyone really liked the first one and so you know it I really am uh, grateful for everyone that's come out and support this one as well it means the world to me we are Already broke the total from last year's entire campaign in the first 30 days of this campaign so thank you once again everyone so much for your support and if you guys are new here and you guys don't know me well then this is a really good way to you know get to know me and back uh, my calendar and support my channel there's a lot of really popular characters that were you know requested for the first calendar like Samus so I started off with her and unlike Hollywood as I try to give you guys what you want I try to give fans and nerds and you know all of us that have been told F you by Hollywood to give uh, you know you guys what you want and what you know I want which is staying true to characters and trying to you know do the best version of them that I possibly can so as you guys can see here this is my Jill Valentine I got Jade from Mortal Kombat I got the one and only Lara Croft my girl Lara then I have Miranda from Mass Effect now I'm still adding images of these uh, characters there are going to be 12 different ones and if you guys are interested in you know supporting an independent content creator like myself this is the way to do it I you know, do the photos, I, you know, do the cosplay, I ship everything out myself. So this is a one, you know, 100% my own project. So if you guys, again, want to support me and my channel and keep everything rolling, please consider backing my cosplay calendar. I would really appreciate it. The links are down in the description below. So please check that out if you guys haven't already. And if this isn't something for you, then maybe take a second and, you know, share it to somebody who this might be, you know, something they'd be interested in. Once again, everyone, thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Also, guys, I have a Twitch channel where I play video games like Elden Ring and KOTOR, as well as an Instagram where I post photos from my recent cosplay escapades. If you guys aren't following me on either of those, go do so now. The link is in the description of this video. And just in case if you guys are interested in my art, I have an art Instagram as well where I post all of the time-lapse videos from my recent project, the I project, as well as other projects that I've worked on if you scroll down further. And if you're interested in purchasing some prints of my art or stickers or bookmarks and stuff like that, any kind of merchandise that I make based on the stuff that I paint, you guys can go over to my Etsy. It's the Art of Anna TSWG. Everything, again, that I've showed you will be linked down below in the description of this video. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.